Hand gestures. Yes, those are your hands, Andrew. Hand gestures in Affinity Photo 2 are brilliant. To zoom in, simply pinch out and you can zoom in and you can actually zoom in. Pixel perfect. To zoom out, pinch in and that will zoom your artwork back out. To move around the canvas, simply just place two fingers or a finger and a thumb and you will be able to move around the artwork. This is particularly useful when you're zoomed in just by using a finger and a thumb or two fingers, you can navigate your way around the artwork. And again, for zooming out, just pinch in. And the final thing you can do, which is brilliant, is by a finger and a thumb or two fingers, is you can actually rotate it just by turning your hand. So zoom in, zoom out, rotate, move around the canvas. That's hand gestures and Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad. Undoing the mistake in Affinity Photo 2 is so easy. So say we move our logo accidentally up there. To undo that, simply tap two fingers on the screen and away you go again. If you want to redo the undo, so to speak, hit three fingers and it will put it back. So by tapping two fingers on the screen, that will undo the action. Three fingers will redo it. Or you could click on the History Studio here on the right hand side, move the slider back and forward and you go to the very beginning of your artwork or to the very end. Naming layers is so important in Affinity Photo 2 and in all applications as we know, but we sometimes don't do it. I'm gonna show you how to do it now. On the top right hand corner, we'll go into the layer studio and we'll click down this first layer, which is a photo of myself. Click the three dots and at the top here, you can see lots of gibberish and this gibberish is actually the file name and we can type in my name, which is Andrew. Click OK, click back, and now we can see this layer is called Andrew. This layer, we'll do it again with this group. We'll just tap into the three dots where it says group here. We'll simply tap into it. And really this is a group of icons. So we'll just type in icons there, click okay. And if we tap back, we can see icons, rectangle, Andrew. Now our layers are a bit more organized than they were before we started. This here is a YouTube thumbnail of a very popular video of mine, Affinity Photo 2 iPad Beginner's Tutorial 2023. Check it out if you haven't already done so. This here is Affinity Photo 2. It's like Photoshop, only better, or at least in my opinion, or certainly on the iPad it is. And today we're just going to look at how to select multiple layers. So if we go up to the Layer Studio on the right hand side, we've got lots of layers here. And say I wanted to move this logo and this text. There's a few ways of grouping layers together. We can simply just tap layer then drag it left to right and there we have it we can move or we can scale this two fingers to undo another way of grouping layers is just by selecting the layer select another one and then we'll actually group it in an actual folder and that tidies up our layer stack a bit better and we can move it again that's selecting multiple layers on affinity photo 2. As you can see, we're moving the poster about, but snapping is not turned on, and it's hard to get this poster to snap to the edges. If you want to know where snapping is in Affinity Photo 2 in the iPad, it's up here at the top, at the right-hand side. This here magnetic symbol. Now, you can easily see that it snaps. This poster, when we move it now, it will now snap to the top, it'll snap to the edges, and it'll also show us it is dead centered. If you want more snapping options, you can tap on the left-hand side, snap is enabled, snapping options and you can see here in the Finley photo all the different snapping options you can snap it to the grid snap it to the guides snap it to different photos lots of different ways that's snapping and a Finley photo too on the ipad there's a few different ways of bringing in photos on Affinity Photo 2 on the ipad simply just bring up the dock at the bottom click and hold your photos app Bring it to the right hand side and you'll see some interesting photos here. Simply select one, hold it down and bring it in to Findy Photo. You can see the plus icon, simply let go and that will import the photo. Just move that slider away, click into the photo and now our photo is in the Findy Photo 2 and that's the full resolution. If we hit back, you can see it's taken the original file name, it's the original measurements. Maybe it's not a photo and it's a file you want into Findy Photo 2. Again, just bring up the dock, go to your files icon and do the same thing. Press and hold, bring it to the right hand side, tap and hold, bring it over again anywhere in the Affinity Photo. Slide that out of the way. You can now see it's did the same thing. We've got our photo with the 
original file name with the original dimensions. If we just tap into it, there's our photo. Getting images into Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad from a web browser is so easy. Simply just bring up the dock here with your finger, just drag it up, go into your browser of choice. Mine is Google Chrome. I've already looked for an Iron Man logo here, so simply just tap on the image just for a few seconds. We normally hit save, don't hit save, hit copy image, drag up the dock again and click into Affinity Photo 2. And there's a few ways of doing this. We can tap one finger and hit paste. And it says, would you like to paste from Chrome? Allow paste. And you can see, if we zoom out, it's absolutely massive. Let's just scale it down. We're gonna have to zoom out a lot. We can put it wherever we want, nice in the middle like that. We can also drag down with three fingers and that'll bring up that quick menu again. We'll simply just type in paste. Again, it's too big. And there's another way you can bring in this image by clicking on the three dots here, hit and paste. And again, that will bring in our logo from Google Chrome. On Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad, if you're wondering why an M sometimes appears beside file names, that's because this file has been modified in some way. So by simply moving your finger from right to left, you can hit the first icon, which is save, and this M will disappear. The same thing's happening in this project. There's an M, this project's been modified. I can either scroll across and hit save the first icon, or I can tap these three dots and click save. And in this case, this project hasn't been saved before so I'm just going to change the file name of it, hit save, and it's going to ask me what location on my iPad do I want to save it to. I'm going to use the Affinity Photo folder, click move, the hem's disappeared and this project has been saved. If you've got lots of projects inside Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad, you can group these projects together simply by tapping on any project. Everything starts to jiggle a bit like the iPad apps. It's the same kind of idea. Simply move one of your projects over another project and let go. And we can do this with multiple projects. So I'm just bringing all my projects into a single folder. It's looking a lot neater now, but we're not finished. I don't want to be called new project. Click on the three lines and click rename. And we're just going to call this family photo shoot. Click OK. And now we can go into that project. And if we want, we can even hold down. Everything starts jiggling again. We can move these projects about too in a different order if we want. If there's something that's in here, which shouldn't be, tap on the three lines and click move out of project. You can also swipe right to left and here, that will do the same thing. It will move it out of a project. We can go back and if for any reason we make a mistake, you can simply drag these files back into the project group.